Welcome, let's discuss the surface area of a pyramid. To define the surface area, we have to think about how much area do we need to cover all the sides in this pyramid. And this task can seem a little bit difficult, but it will be easier to find the surface area when we get this pyramid and we lay it flat in the surface. And now we can see that the figure got broken down into sections, the middle, can be seen as the base of this pyramid. And these other triangles that we have next to the pyramid can be seen as the sides of the pyramid. So if we put it back, to define the surface area of this pyramid, it is sufficient to just find the area of the base and add as many triangles as are needed. But one thing to notice is that the number of triangles in a pyramid will always match with the number of sides in our base. Notice that this base has one, two, three, four, five sides, and that's as many triangles as we have. If we increase the number of sides in our base, that also increases the number of triangles to complete the pyramid. So in this case, the base have seven sides. Well, that's how many triangles as we need to add. Let's take a look at one example. So given the following pyramid, let's find the surface area of it. And previously we saw that the surface area, it is equivalent to the area of the base plus the area of all the triangles that's around the figure, which we refer to it as the lateral area. Let's start by defining the area of the base. In the pyramid, the base is this quadrilateral figure. It looks like a square. So to find the area of the base, we need to find the area of this square, which is base times height. Where the base, it's of 8 centimeters, and the height, it's a 4 plus 4, which is 8 as well. And when we multiply, that's equivalent to 64 centimeters square. And now to find the lateral area, let's try to find the area of one of the triangles that define the side of this pyramid. And we know that within a triangle, the area is one half times the base times the height. And at least we know what the base of this triangle is. It is equivalent to 8. But now the height of this triangle is the unknown. But notice that the height that we're looking for, it is part of a right triangle which we have here on the side of the pyramid. Let's analyze that triangle individually. Where we have a side of 4, where we have the hypotenuse of 12, and notice that this is a hypotenuse because it's right in front of the angle that is 90 degrees. And what we're looking for, it is this side of the triangle. So now we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the unknown. 4 square plus the height square, it is equal to 12 square. So we'll have 16 plus h square equals 144. Let's take away 16 to both sides. So h squared is 128. And when we take the square root, the height of this triangle, it is approximately 11.31. So now we have the height that we needed to find the area of the triangle on the side of the pyramid. That will be 1 half times the base, which we know is 8, times the height, which we found it to be 11.31. And if we multiply all this, we're going to get a value of 45.24. Now that we know the area of one of those triangles, now we can define the lateral area. Notice that there are four triangles on the side of this pyramid, so we can get the area of one triangle multiplied by four, and we'll define the lateral area.
which is 180, 2096. So now we have all the information that is needed to find the surface area, because it will be the lateral area, which is 180.96, plus the area of the base, which we found to be of 64 centimeters square, which is equivalent to 244.96 centimeters square. Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.